Hi, my name is Susan Park. I'm one of the Embrace students here at LCC. Um, I've been at LCC for one semester now, um, and I was invited to this program for the summer. I'm currently majoring, or going to be majoring in nursing. However, I'm thinking about doing possibly graduate research now after this. Hi, my name is Matthew Gregorio. I'm also here at Leary Community College. I'm going into biology for future aspirations, hopefully a doctor, maybe a firefighter. We'll see how life turns out. Just trying to be free, trying to make some money, have a good life. So we were looking at um, Seeing the genetic uh, variation between the monarch butterfly population, um, both within Hawaii, between the Hawaiian Islands, as well as outside of Hawaii. The monarch butterflies on the mainland, they migrate. Um, there's a phenomenon called a great butterfly migration when they migrate from northern Canada all the way to Mexico. But as of right now, we, we presume that the monarchs found on Oahu and the surrounding islands do not take part in that migration whatsoever. So we're wondering if the, mig the monarchs stay stationary on their islands or if they migrate from island to island. This helps with just the evolutionary history of the monarch butterfly. And also there's been recent research that shows that there's been a drastic decline of the monarch butterfly population and migration. So that's why we want to know more about this species. Maybe perhaps to also uncover why the population is declining. Because Hawaii is sort of a isolated um, and diverse place. Um, we've seen in our research that there has been samples we've collected in Hawaii, um, in different locations that don't show very similar genetic um, relatedness. So this kind of suggests that there is a lot of isolated, fragmented populations within the island itself. Mm -hmm. So the way I found out about Embry or this, uh, this summer program was that my previous friend Jordan was like, hey, you know what, there's a program coming up where you can get experience and you can do research. And because I was a bit, um, I wasn't too sure exactly what I wanted to go into. I know biology, but then research was always in the, in the foreground. I heard about it, I read about it, but I never actually took part in it. So this was an opportunity for me to get my hands dirty and get my, and see what I can do and see what I can learn, and I just saw it as a good opportunity for me to take. And I'm in a similar vein as Matt in that I've always was interested in research, but never had the opportunity, so I never figured I would be able to until graduate school. Um, however, our principal investigator, Dr. K, um, asked me after I took his uh, microbiology lab. So that's how I came into the Embry program. Well, we, uh, we think that the sequences that we are able to um, uh, acquire uh, could be, possibly be placed into the database that has a lot of the um, sequences from like mainland, North America, South America. Um, but I think Hawaii is a less explored area. So I think that in that way we can contribute just to the, um, just to the overall uh, information we know about the species and possibly uh, po there's there's always a possibility for a publication um, in undergraduate papers or journals and whatnot that could help mm -hmm. I think I would just tell them that you know what is your plans over the summer do you want to make a difference not only in in your, your experience? Do you want to be able to be around individuals that grow you? Because I think going into it, I was just expecting, you know, we come in, we do some stuff, isolated, but I was just telling them, you know, it might not seem like a lot of fun, but towards the end, you know, both experience and um, the amount of invaluable things you gain from it is just, it's just, it's just nuts. Because you can, you can kind of see yourself in the position, you wear lab coats, you wear gloves, and it gives you a sense of, oh, maybe I could do this in the future. It just, it's a very eye-opening situation. It's very practical. And it gives you, like Susan said, a comfortable environment to, like, throw, not throw you into the fire, maybe throw you into the, Like a toasty oven. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> in a nice kind of way. But I'll just tell them that 
you know, if you're looking for a summer where you can learn and grow and also gain some experience for some resume, I would, I would definitely do it. I not only learned like practical skills, hard skills, but I learned a lot of soft skills too, like being able to professionally write an email to an associate, being able to meet a professor, meet a, a representative from Monsanto Farms, be able to conduct yourself professionally yeah. and like we presented today as well, I think is something I was never confident in. Um, I always felt nervous about, so this is, you can apply your skills not only to the lab, but everything else in your life after this.